Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna take you through a workout, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I understand some of you guys can't get in the gym and don't have time, and then you guys are like, hey, what, what can I do if I can't get a membership at the gym or whatever? So that's why there are options for you guys to do stuff at home. I understand it's a lot more difficult. You don't have the motivation to go and do stuff at home, but if you are motivated and you want to get something done, I suggest you do a home workout, just saying. But realistically, you can look up any home workout and they're gonna be a full body workout most of the time. And most of the time, they're all decent workouts as long as you get your heart rate going and you put in the effort. So I'm gonna run you guys through um, a workout that I just found. I just searched full body workout at home and it came up with this. Your arm. Let focus. So on Monday, we got 100 jumping jacks, 50 crunches. You can read that, so. I'm gonna put my own little take on it just because, hold on, focus. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna put my own little take on it just because I am kind of exhausted. I just got done working out. So I'm gonna take my own little work on it. Um, so run you guys through it real quick. But first, you know we gotta cue the intro. So I just realized that I'm just gonna run you guys through the whole thing, like no matter what. So first up is 100 jumping jacks. So run that through you real quick. There's a hundred jumping jacks for you. So now we got 20 tricep dips. For the dips, everybody's got a chair at home, so that's why we have a chair in the background, obviously. So, 20 tricep dips. Make sure you're really focusing on. I'm up, I'm turn to the side real quick. that. So now we have 15 squats um, and these just make sure you're getting parallel. Um, no race, just make sure you're, you're really feeling it. Get that depth, so run you through that real quick. Alright, now we have 20 lunges each leg and Honestly, it doesn't uh, specify whether they're reverse lunges or forward lunges, whatever feels better for you. Um, I prefer a, rever uh, a reverse lunge, but that's just me. So, we've got 20 re um, reverse lunges each leg. So, alternate legs. Okay, so now we have 70 Russian twists. It doesn't specify whether that's 35 each side, but go ahead and do 70 Russian twists. Um, 35 each side, so 70 total. So I kind of lost count there, so if you guys want to count and comment below and see how many I actually did, go ahead. Um, next, 20 standing calf raises. I really like to stand against something or kind of lean against something, that way um, you're not just doing free range calf raises and out of control, but you really, really want to control 
your range of motion on this. You don't want to just speed through it like it's not a speed race. So really um, focus on stretch on this. There's 20 calf raises and you got to see my baby calves, awesome. So, and then now we're on to five push-ups, kind of simple, just um, getting upper body workout in, so. Okay, done with that. So now, on to the last and final thing. 10, 10 lunge split jumps. Now obviously you're gonna have to do these reverse. So, back whenever we were doing the reverse lunges, you can switch those up for forward lunges, either way. So 10 lunge split jumps. Um, so 10 inch leg. And that's a wrap. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I'm breathing kind of heavy. Um, if you can't get in the gym and you can't afford a membership or whatever, don't make the excuse of saying you can't work out. Because obviously, I just showed you 10 or so exercises that you can do at home. No equipment. The only thing I used was a chair. And everybody's got a chair. I promise. As you can see, I'm in full bulk, bulk mode. I'm kind of breathing heavy, haven't done cardio in a while, so. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's, don't try and make it, make excuses and saying you can't get in here because everybody can get in here. Everybody can work out, everybody can go on a run. If you say you can't make time, that's an excuse. You don't wanna make time. So get in the gym, do stuff at home, go on a run, go on a walk. Either way, as long as you're staying active, it really doesn't matter, and it's all about your goals. So if you wanna hit your goals, come in here, come into the gym, do 30 minutes of something. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be in here for an hour and a half, two hours to get a workout in. Something quick like that took me 10 minutes. Just make time. If you, if you really, really wanna um, hit your fitness goals, make time. Don't, don't say, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. If you actually can't do it, don't stress about it. Hit the next, next, next day, new day, Go in there and do it. Get it done. I'm tired of everybody saying they don't have time to do this and this. They don't want to make time for it. So get it done, guys. So that's what I have for you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Ask questions. And I will make sure to get back to your questions as soon as possible. I'm always on my phone. Um, I'll leave my email down below. I'll leave my Instagram handle. DM me. I'm always free to answer questions, so um, no question is a stupid question. I always like that, like to say that just because don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Just hit your goals, find something in, in, the, in that path, and go for it. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video again. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Charles.